Next, we will create a melodic sample phrase using the NN19 and the sequencer. This is similar to adding stabs, but these samples generally have a longer duration, are sometimes polyphonic, and may require more than one pitch event at a step. Start by creating an NN19 sampler, then click on the Sample Browser button. In the Sample Browser, navigate to the Factory Sound Bank Refill, into the Other Samples folder, then into the Chords, Phrases, Pads, Stabs folder. Select the file Echo Pond. Set the sequencer left loop locator to 1 and the right loop locator to 3. Looping should still be on. And this sets up a 2-bar loop similar to a 32-step matrix pattern. Select the sampler track from the track list and enter into edit mode to view the key lane of the sequence. Set the sequencer resolution to 16th notes and enable the snap to grid feature. Then enable the pencil tool to draw in MIDI events in the key lane. When you click on the note grid in the key lane, note events will be manually entered into the sequencer. Clicking and dragging from left to right will increase the duration of the note. Release the mouse button to stop drawing that note event. In the two measure section we are looping, we will manually draw in sequence note events into the piano roll grid. On note F3 at position 1, pencil in an eighth note event by clicking on the grid and dragging the note event to position 112. We will continue this by adding another note on F3 at position 114 and dragging it to position 121. At position 121, pencil in an F sharp 3 with a duration of an eighth note as well. Drag this to position 122. We will draw a few more eighth note events on F3 at positions 124 and 132. At position 142, draw in a note event on F3 with a duration of 16th note. At position 211 and 214, draw in more eighth note events on F3. Then another 16th note at 224. At position 233, draw in another 8th note on F3, and at position 243, draw in another 16th note on F3. Finally, at position 241, pencil in a 16th note on E flat 3. Press play to preview the sequence loop. As the sequence plays, the note events in the piano roll editor are sent to the sampler to play melodic stab samples. Switch from the pencil tool to the selection tool. Click on the 8th note on F3 at position 233 and drag it to the left to position 232. Unlike the matrix device, sequencer events do not repeat unless the transport is looped. Events that you want to repeat must be manually copied through the duration of the phrase. Enable the selection tool and select the note events in the key lane by clicking and dragging a selection box around these events. These are the notes that we penciled in between position 1 and position 3. You will know when a note is selected when a small black handler box appears to the right of the event. From the Edit menu, select Copy. The position marker will be automatically advanced past the last note selected to position 244. Before you paste the copied selection, move the position bar to measure 311. Then select Paste from the Edit menu. The note events are then pasted from measure 311 to measure 444. Another quick way to duplicate these events is to use the duplicate feature by holding down the Alt or Option key and dragging the notes to the following measures. You will know the duplicate feature is activated because a plus sign appears next to the cursor. Duplicate the selected events at measure 311 and drag the bounding box until it starts at measure 511. Switch the sequencer resolution to bar and enable the Snap to Grid feature. When you duplicate a selection, this will ensure that the changes will advance by a full measure rather than just 16th notes. Duplicate the selection at measure 5 to measure 7. When we use key commands for copy and paste, we must manually advance the position marker to the beginning of the next measure because the Paste command will only advance the transport past the end of the last note. Use the keyboard command Ctrl or Command C to copy the events between measure 711 and measure 844. Move the transport to measure 9 
and use the keyboard shortcut Control or Command V to paste the events at measure 9. Advance the transport to measure 11 and paste the events. Repeat this at measures 13 and 15. Now the events have been duplicated and will repeat through the entire phrase arrangement. We will create variations of the melodic stabs directly to the sequence. Change the sequencer resolution back to 16th notes and enable the selection tool. Select the three events on F3 between measures 1614 and 1633, then press the delete or backspace key to delete these notes. Click and drag on the position marker on the sequencer timeline and then drag it back. As you drag it beyond the view on the left, the window will scroll back in the sequence. Drag the position marker to around measure 8. Select the three events on F3 between measure 814 and 833 and delete them. Press play to preview the modified melodic stab arrangement.